I went over to my neighbors and asked them if they had any maps I could look at since the information center was closed and I'm on a bicycle so I can actually see what it is they have here. Here's where we are right here at Fish Creek Campground, which is the only campground that's open because of COVID and I just think that's ridiculous. A guy did all like 750 miles of trails through all of Glacier and he had mentioned the High Line Trail was number one and you can reach it from the loop. What I figured I would do, which this works out perfect, I can leave before 11 and then I'll spend between 11 and four doing a trail and then I can jump on my bike and I'll just swing on down. I'm really excited. I just left the Apgar turn off, officially on the going to the sun road. It's like 7.08 a.m. It's freaking freezing, but I know it'll warm up eventually. Bye now. You leave at the right time four hours before 11. It's cold. Bring gloves, even if they're light. Yeah, burr even with gloves on. So I've been riding for about an hour and 10 minutes and I think now I'm gonna start climbing. I just wanna tell you about the road conditions before I forgot. Non-stop traffic, everyone's great. And the road is well paved. There's no potholes or like shit in the road. Look at my little kangaroo pouch. <laughs> yeah, that's my fanny pack. My favorite bag that I was telling you about. Rotated it around to the front to eat and then I'll switch it back. All right, onward. Going up to the sun appropriate considering the sun is right there when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun is right up by those trees. Logan Pass is what it's called. Oh my gosh, a mile and a half to go and it's like 10 minutes of 11. <laughs> oh. It's not that bad. Wouldn't recommend it on a 2.2 tire, but it can be done as I'm doing it right now. Look at the views, yay. I just pulled a guy and his father, both very fit. The kid's probably in his 40s. He's really afraid of heights, and he said having me in front of him was really helping him. Commotion up here. Oh my gosh, there's a mountain goat it's in the parking lot. It's oh, fantastic. Look at this mess of people. I thought it was gonna be a quiet little overlook. <laughs> it's like a whole little city up here. I don't know where we're gonna go. But at least we can scratch the goat off our list. We made it! It wasn't on my bucket list, but apparently it was on other people's bucket list. At least now I don't have to think about adding it to my bucket list. <laughs> and it was exactly four hours and I left from Fish Creek Campground because I think like the official start of the Road to the Sun is right outside Apgar little village there. So if you want to be official and do the full length of going to the Sun Road, that would be the starting point. As you can see, this is kind of a clusterfuck because there's no shuttles. So everybody has to drive up here and it's kind of a drive. It's like 32 miles or I don't know. And there's nowhere to park. 
and this is where information is so if like you come alone in your car you kind of screwed if you don't find a spot they should have somebody down at the curb handing out maps and stuff so those people who are alone since they have no one to run in for them will at least get the information they need i love how there's like amish ladies here and then there's gosh look at this photograph date 1933 and these cars were black and black inside imagine the heat and all the clothes these people are wearing oh how cool you can see indians over here with that feather headdress oh isn't this fantastic one thing I highly recommend besides coming up and getting here by 11 and then just doing a trail and hanging out until 4 versus like coming up and like turning around to get back down by 11 or doing that after 4. I don't know. It just seems like you would be rushed. You will want to remember to bring a hat and maybe some spare sunblock, maybe a change of shoes. I'm riding in my men's keen sandals. Here he is, just wondering where to go next. It's such an interesting shape. Okay. Just getting on the High Line Trail, across from the visitor center. This guy went missing a month ago. He was last seen at 2.30 in the afternoon on this trail. You wonder if he went off into the wilderness, got attacked by an animal. He just had a fanny pack, so if he had like camping gear, I thought I would think, well, maybe he just wanted to break the rules and he ended up going off trail and is off camping somewhere, but he just had a, a fanny pack and there are some big horned sheep straight ahead. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Well, we missed the big horned sheep. My legs are hurting. I guess that walk yesterday, balancing on all those rocks, this bike ride up, really worked my legs. It's interesting because on the road bike, I don't think I'd be hurting at all. Look how cool this perspective is. Highline trail heading down, wrapping around. Road to the sun right before it ends into the visitor center. I'm gonna just be casual on this. See the trail there, and there's the road. Oh my goodness, does this keep going down? Oh no, there it is. See it wiggling up? So coming back is quite a bit of climbing. Hmm, I wonder how I feel about that. Going to the Sun Road, there's the, like the valley can see where it does a climb up turn the sharp right and it basically just stays on a slight grade just climbing and climbing in between the mountains I turned around I'm in the mood to just sort of sit still and stare and just enjoy absorb something I don't usually do I usually am moving so fast I want to accomplish this I want to do this I want to do that also my legs hurt and I need to be able to bike tomorrow normally I would push on but I'm not going to that's right the Continental Divide Trail goes through here that's a trail I would do I'm not interested in Appalachian Trail. I'm not interested in... The Pacific Crest might be interesting. I think the Continental Divide has the most diversity. Do a big backpack trip next. There's so many people were telling me you can't bike between 11 and four. Well, I just confirmed with a ranger what I read. 11 and four between Sprague and Apgar is you can't go up or down. From Sprague to the top, you can go down but you're not gonna be able to get past Sprague until 4 p.m., which makes more sense now because as a cyclist, you know, you make it to the top fine and now maybe you wanna do a trail, you know, down here. Initially, I thought I was kind of in, like in lockdown up here because I can't turn around until after 4 p.m. And it turns out you can. Basically, you can get your ass up here by 11 and then work your way down slowly, taking pictures, doing the stops you didn't do on your way up. This allows you then to go and explore different spots. So that's cool. I'm waiting for my opportunity. I can fly down this freaking hill and be like, wee! 
but I don't think it's gonna happen. There's a lot of traffic and I think we're just gonna do like a silent wee. <laughs> Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. I'm tired. <laughs> I want someone to come and give me a ride. I just saw the sign that said 14 miles to Apgar. <gasps> oh, I'm really tired, I'm not sure why. I mean, I don't understand. I didn't have packs on my bag. See, packs on my bag, it's how I'm tired. Bags on my bike. It was a gradual climb, maybe not past 6% probably average around five. All this biking I've been doing, I'm just, I'm tired. And I'm wondering if my walk yesterday, my hike yesterday, we went six miles, but you know, I was balancing on rocks and things like that. I don't know, this is just weird. God, there's a shitload of motorcycles coming by. This is the hour, I guess. Um, I have learned that most people do not do the whole going to the Sun Road starting from Apgar. They actually get dropped off at Avalanche or the stop after that. So that means that's like 15 miles one way you're not doing. So 30 miles round trip you can skip if you start at Avalanche. Everyone I met today was dropped off there. And I get it, that's the beautiful area, especially if you're on vacation, you have limited time, like that's where you want to spend your time. But this is a pretty road and I need to do the whole thing. Well, I had to do the whole thing because I don't have a car, but I think I would want it. I wanted to, I'm glad I did it. But now, <laughs> now I'm ready to not do the whole thing back. <laughs> but it's not gonna happen. I have to keep pedaling. It's a beautiful hour. All right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. So coming back, I saw this building and it says store, yay. Door. That means it's gonna have chocolate. Maybe it has a sandwich or something. I know I need to use my food up so I'm not always biking with it. Thank you. I'm happy to. Oh, it's a cute oh, store. Oh, good ass sandwiches. Ice cream. Uh, bars. Shampoo. Sunblock. Yeah, they have basically everything. Just so you know, up the climb I just did, I was screaming. Fuck me! I took the road instead of the bike path because the bike path is like on a dirt road that has some climbing and there's bears and and I thought oh, I'll take the pavement. It's a big climb. I'm going like 65 miles. What the fuck is wrong with me? And I climbed to the top of a mountain on a mountain bike. Whee! I have my hard seltzer mango. I don't know if I've ever heard of that. Oh no, there's kids everywhere. And my peanut butter and jelly. And clothes to put on, but we want a sunny spot. This cool tree. Maybe we can go where there's no children. And in the sunshine, like over here. I need to rinse off, cause I'm so dirty. And this one in the water, kind of washed off. Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right